a reading from the good book of Twitter. Our Justice Department must not let Awan and Debbie Wasserman Schultz off the hook. The Democratic, the Democrat IT scandal is the key to much of the corruption we see today. They want to make a plea deal to hide what is on their server. Where is server? Really bad. The President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, tweeted that out 21 hours ago. Does Trump know that he's the president? <laughs> can, someone, can someone pat Donald J. Trump on the shoulder and tell him that he's the president of the United States? He won the election, that there is three branches of power and there's the executive branch, that's his, and then to the right of that is legislation, that's Congress and Senate, and then on the other side is the judicial, right? Separations of power. The, the, <laughs> I feel like it's, like we have to teach this again in school, like the president doesn't even know it, that the, the, the president, the president, the, the the other thing, the first thing I want to say is that the, I think we're having an impact because, I mean, is, is the President of the United States paying attention to our little circle of, con, of, of, uh, of talk? Yeah, I think he is. I think he is through, you know, people like Dr. Corsi, certainly what Jason Goodman did yesterday, but with the, with the, uh, the, the phone conversation with uh, Chris Gowan. Imran Awan's attorney. What a jerk. What an idiot. Gowan for picking up the phone and, and, and having that kind of a conversation. That was, whew, that was so, so damaging. But, but again, the law, there's no more law. There's no, they, they're all, all the, all the, all the people involved, Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Imran Awan and all the congressmen, they're all protected. So there's no real consequence. Gowan could say whatever he wants. It's like Bill Clinton. I don't know what, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. That's, that's all they do. But are we having an impact? I put I put out my piece on Imran Awan saying that, uh, you know, I talked about that, that there's no way in hell that Imran Awan and Debbie Wasserman Schultz will be held accountable. And then 21 hours later, Trump is tweeting out, you know, that this is the biggest story. Like, we got to get this. We got to get Imran and we got to get... Uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. But on the top of the heap, of all the people who broke this story, it's George Webb. George Webb is the, it was the, was the pioneer of this story. He led us all. He told us what was going on. It was, it was Senator Grassley and, and other, there were people inside Congress, some of the, the congressmen and the senators, but that were speaking out about it. But George Webb pretty much, led this story and uh, he, he deserves credit for that he really does right but the president of the United States uh, George always said if, if we could get Trump to say Imran Awan out loud say the name then we were winning and, and, and George Webb was right he, he, got, he got the president of the United States to know the story and talk about it and now it, it appears that whether Trump directly is following our little circle of information, which it appears he is. If he's doing it directly or indirectly, he's definitely doing it. So we're having an impact. So, Mr. President, if you are watching this channel, my name is Marcus. I live in Brooklyn, New York, very close to where you were born in Queens. <laughs> Get off your ass! You're the president! It's your Department of Justice! It's your Department of Justice. Sessions is your guy. He leads the Department of Justice. He's the Attorney General. And below him is the FBI. And those are the people that... You're, you're the boss! And you're in charge. So you can't say that... Our, our the Justice Department must not let Awan and Debbie Wasserman Schultz off the hook. You, President Trump, must do the job. You must step in and do the dirty work. Right? We want to blame deep state, deep state, deep state. Well, if you're saying, if the President of the United States is saying that he can't 
prosecute some low level IT guy. Right? He can't get he can't get a, a fair trial for some schmuck IT guy who came in on with a green card from Pakistan. Then what good are you? You're a soggy soggy uh, you know, soggy sandwich. You're the sandwich that got you know, you put it in your bag and it gets wet and you can't eat it. So, I don't know. It's again the, the Imran Awan story is the biggest story of our time, right? It's huge. It's so huge because if you know exactly what Imran Awan and his wife Nina Alvi, Nina Alvi, whatever her name is, and the other guys that were hired to 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 work this IT slash spy ring, where they were selling information out the back door, the, the transfer of information. Whether it was classified, most of it is classified. Anything that goes on in Congress behind closed doors is classified. Now, Awan had all the all access. He had access to congressmen. He had access to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Schultz's passcodes. She, he had those passcodes to get into the server. She was running the DNC. So you see the connection, right? The DNC, if you want to find out what happened to the DNC... The, 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 the quote Russian hack the election bullshit and 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 uh, Guccifer and and did Seth Rich really get killed? I don't know. Did Seth Rich really was he really the source of the of the leak? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't look like it. It's just all you got is a guy that disappeared and there's no evidence that he, that he's even dead. So you have to look at him run on. And his spy ring, that's where the leak was. That's what, there's, there lies the evidence, right? There's only circumstantial evidence that there's the word of Julian Assange, sort of, that Seth Rich dumped that, uh, the Podesta emails and, the, and the, the leaked stuff to WikiLeaks, to Julian, right? There's, a, there's, only, there's only, he's never said it openly. He's, he's alluded to it. So we don't know that for sure. But what we do know is that here's, two, here's a Pakistani spy ring in Congress with all the passwords, all access, right? All access, right? Selling that shit quid pro quo through the Clinton, Clinton Foundation. Want a favor? Oh, we'll give you a favor. Do we have evidence of how, who bought the information? Was, you know, what Wall Street executives bought it? No, but without investigation, without the FBI working on behalf of the people and not on behalf of the donors, we'll never know. So when hell freezes over, Donald Trump uh, will prosecute Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Imran Awan. For now, it's just business as usual, right? Right. Imran Awan will come before a judge January, uh, July, July 3rd, 2018, and he'll be... He'll be lightly slapped on the wrist for something unrelated, which is bank fraud or money something or other, right? It doesn't have anything to do with the spy ring in Congress selling quid pro quo information out the back door. It has nothing to do with any of that, right? So he'll get a light sentence, a couple of months, right, on a military base, federal, federally protected, right? He'll, 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 he'll do exercise. He'll exercise for six months and then he'll go out the back door. He'll go back to Pakistan. He'll get a million dollars or whatever for keeping his mouth shut. This is our politics right now, and all that, all the dirt about the about all all the all the the, the dirt about the spy ring will expire because statute of limitations will expire um, because he was already prosecuted. He can't be prosecuted again for the same crime. All those little, those are little legal, but they control the legal system anyway. But but those are just, they're putting safeguards in place so that an investigation could never happen. It's called covering your trails. Imran Awan is the scapegoat. Imran Awan is the, is the throwaway gun, right? They throw him away, and he knows it, and he's accepting it because otherwise they'll, he should be getting 30 years for treason or, or shot, the firing squad, right? And in a, in a perfect world... In a just Department of Justice with a real attorney general like, you know, Giuliani, for example, Imran Awan would be 
facing treason charges, along with Debbie Wasserman Schultz and how they were feeding that information back to the Clinton Foundation and selling it. Quid pro quo. They were selling the information. Put money in the foundation and we'll give you a favor. It was very, very, it's very well documented. Right? It's very well documented. We know that that's what they were doing. Right? My name is Marcus Conti. I am an investigative journalist and a reporter here on YouTube. And I'm also a candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.